Well, now to a shocking case of mistaken identity gone very wrong. Vancouver police have some explaining to do after arresting the wrong man. They have issued an apology, but the victim says that that is not enough considering what he went through. Mi Young Lee has that story from Vancouver. This is what mistaken identity looks like. Police were called to this house after a woman called saying she was being beaten by her husband and feared for her baby. It was just after 2 a.m. Yao Wei Wu was asleep in his bed when he heard a loud pounding on the door. He looked through the peephole. The two men identified themselves as police. And the minute he opened the door without any explanation, they kicked the door, pulled him out. And bash him. Wu says the beating lasted several minutes. The bones on his face around his eyes are broken. Bruises and lacerations cover his knees. His blood still on the doorstep. Wu doesn't speak English, and he says the police didn't care. He didn't fight back, he says, because the officers had guns. His wife came rushing to the door and fell to her knees at what she saw. I sit down. Yeah. And the hand were all over the head. The blade. The nurse is young. Call the police. Call the police. He said, I am the police. Okay. I have nothing to say. And the police, they sit down. Call the ambulance. Call the ambulance. I said, I did. I did. Okay. I don't trust them. I just call it again. It's unclear how long it took for police to realize they'd banged on the wrong door and roughed up the wrong man. It was Wu's tenant in a separate suite they were after. He was arrested once they realized the mistake. Soon after Wu was released from hospital, Vancouver Police Chief Jim Chu showed up at his house to apologize. But Wu says that isn't enough. To him, he just said they, they abuse the authority yes. to him. And now you don't even feel safe in your own home. This case is far from over. The police complaints commissioner is now involved, and the professional standards section is investigating. As for Wu, who works in construction, he doesn't know when he'll be back on the job, and he says he's most fearful the vision in his eye won't be fully restored. Mi Young Lee, CBC News, Vancouver.